What's the matter? You didn't get what you wanted from Santa this year? No, I got everything that I wanted. I got to spend the entire day with my daughter. Well, that's nice, the whole day. Yeah, counting every heartbeat. It's hard to imagine, though, this could be my last Christmas with her. <laughs> You've got to stop talking like that. Yeah. You know, I, I just bought all of these presents. I could barely fit all of them under the tree. And mm -hmm. I just kept thinking, I got to I gotta remember this. I got to remember details and take mental pictures. That way I can just, I can take them with me. Wherever it is that I'm going. But, but you're not going anywhere, so you don't have to take any pictures. Don't be so nice, okay? Because I don't want to cry. I'm, I cried once yesterday, and I'm very proud of that, okay? I worked very hard to make things good. Because I want her to remember me. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You see what you do to yourself? Hmm? Okay? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So did you girls at least have a nice Christmas Eve dinner? Yeah, we did. It was good. Ava and I are getting along really well. Mm -hmm. Does Ava know? Does she know it? Hi, babe. Hi. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> she, uh, Philip is... I just was t filling her in about Philip. I did tell her some things, but I didn't want to scare her. Well, that's smart. Um, I have some more Christmas decorations if you have the time to help me take them down to storage. Sure. No, no. Gus has an appointment at the bridal boutique. I do? Mm hmm Oh, I do, I do, yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> I mean, no, I saw Mario downstairs, so I can get him to help you if you want. I thought it was his day off. Sure, that'd be great. Thank you. No problem. Okie doke. Well, I, I'm on myself. Your name just... Yeah, you know. I'll be fine. Have right. fun. Come on, babe. Hi. Hi. Hi, Olivia. Uh, isn't that... That's Bill's room. I can't believe how grown up Emma is. She picked out all of your presents herself. Did she? Or did you and Bill help her? Uh, Bill, I was just leaving him a note. From inside his room. Uh-huh. About what? Uh, about, uh, things. Really? What things? If you're going to accuse me of something, then just please... I'm not me. accusing you. Well, maybe you should. Really? Okay. Please don't be mad at me, okay? You know that I love Coop, right? I love him. You know I love him. And sometimes a girl has needs. You know, gets lonely, this sort of thing. So this happened, and I was there, and, well, Bill was there. And before you know it, one thing happened, and then clothes were coming off, and, you know, le leopard skin underwear. And you before I know it, I was, I was sleeping. I slept with, with your ex-husband, and uh, I'm very sorry about that. So you're probably going to call me a whore right now, aren't you? No! I, 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 it's a little I'm, weird. It's not yeah. serious, and if there was any kind of indication that you were in love with him, you know that I would never have anything to do with that. And if you ever want me to help you to get back together with him, I would totally do that because you are so much more important to me on any day than Bill is. So just tell me to stop if you want me to stop. I want you to stop. Okay, fine. Done. Never again. Stop. No, I want you to stop talking. <clears throat> Look, you're a big girl, okay? And I'm, you got to make your own decisions. And Bill's available, although I think you really need to be careful with him right now. But, you know, if you're alone and lost and looking for some comfort and, well, I mean, look, why not? That's it? Yeah. Consider Bill... Part of your inheritance. Oh, stop. Don't talk like that. Just I just gotta be happy. happy. That's all I want is just for you to be happy. I okay? am happy. I love you. I am so happy that we found each other. It, it was difficult to love you at first, but we're so much alike. I'd be so proud of that. I am proud of that. And I'm proud that you're my mom. And I feel blessed to have you in my life. And now you're sleeping with Bill. You stop. This is about guys, isn't it? Gus. It's only about Gus. about Gus. It doesn't matter what happens with Bill or Jeffrey or anyone else because you are falling for Gus. Gus is special. And he might just save my life. Call Gus. No, he's out with his fiance making wedding plans. How much time have you got? Call him. Thank 
Okay, you better not peek in there. Oh, it's Olivia. It's probably at the wedding plan. Hello? Melinda's coming over. Yeah? So it's about the wedding planner. Mm-hmm. Um, she has some arrangements she wants you to look over. All right, all right. I don't want to miss her. You tell her, tell her I'm on my way over, okay? All right. Um, so if you go take care of the wedding dress problems, I'll go take care of these regular problems with the wedding planner. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Good. Whoa, oh, oh, hi. Hello. Hi, yes. Oh, nice I'm to see sorry. you. Okay, bye. See you nice, later. Uh, good to see you, too. <laughs> How you doing? Well, you changed your clothes. Yeah, going out later. Ah, good. You look good. Well, thank you. So do you. Come on in. Yeah. yeah. Where's Melinda? Huh? Melinda? Oh, yeah. Well, um, she's late. Oh. What do you know? That's cool. Would you like a coffee or a soda or something? Uh, well, no. Actually, I got you uh, something to drink. A lady Christmas present. I didn't get you anything. No, that's right. Open it. Open it. Go ahead. Oh, my gosh. It's no. alcohol. You must think I'm a lush. No, nothing like that. Now, this here bottle of wine, this is a 15-year bottle of wine. So, in other words, it takes 15 years to mature, right? About the time that Emma graduates. And so, at that time, you can celebrate. Gus. Well, I'll celebrate with you. I'll raise a glass with you there in the room to celebrate. <sighs> I, that would be truly amazing. Well, what would be amazing is if you just keep up your end of the bargain. And then I'll get my money's worth out of that bottle of wine. Well, I hate to ruin a nice bottle of wine. That's right. <laughs> Why is it that your faith gives me faith? Just hold on to that. I will. Thank you. This is the nicest gift anyone's ever given me. <laughs> Seriously. Mm -hmm. Hey, Hi. did someone throw a party and forget to invite the bride? Honey. Hi. What are you doing here? I thought you were doing the thing with the, the dress and the... Hey. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to see for myself. Where is she? Who? Melinda. Ah, Melinda, she's late. Well, no, she's not late. She's up the hall in the bridal suite, and she says she didn't speak to you all day. Well, obviously, she forgot she's a little flighty sometimes. Or maybe you just made it up. Why would I do that? I can give you a couple reasons. I think you're being a little jittery. Melinda was supposed to be here. She obviously forgot. Oh, it's not so obvious to me. Fine, then let's just get her down here and let's clear this up, okay? Okay, that's a good idea. You should call her. Connect me to the bridal suite, please. All righty. Can we just, ladies, honestly, a little misunderstanding. I'm sure it's about it. How, how, how'd the dress look at the fitting? The, honey? It was great. It was perfect. Good. Like anything would ever look bad on you, right? Right? You bet. Yeah. So, uh, why don't we just drop the dress off and go get a bite to eat? Get a uh, little blood sugar pop. I can there. store it for you. If you want to, I do it for everyone else. Store it? Yeah. Really? You do that? Yep. That's great. That's, that's great, right? Right? Will you be careful with it? I'll treat it like it was my own. Thank you. Done deal. Excellent. Okay, well, thank you very much. And we'll reschedule the Melinda thing. Okay. Hey? Oh, yeah. I'll talk to you. Bye. Bye. 